Cricut Design Space is rolling out a new feature called Create AI. So artificial intelligence is entering the Cricut world, whether you're ready for it or not. So we're gonna talk about the good, the bad, maybe the ugly, we're gonna test it out and we'll see how you feel about it at the end of this video. If we're just meeting right now, hi, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. If you open up a new canvas in Cricut Design Space, go over to the left-hand side, go all the way down, and you will see the new Cricut AI icon there. Click on that, and here's where we can generate some fun images. Now, if you don't see the new Cricut AI icon, on your computer screen, that's because Cricut Design Space is slowly rolling this out. So not everyone has it yet. You also need to be in the beta mode of Design Space instead of the live mode. So to go there, you could go up to your drop down menu and go to settings, or at the top right here, you can see that it says beta. I can just click on that. And so under your design space settings here, under general, and then under application experience, you would change it from live to beta, and then you would restart design space. So I'm currently in beta right now, and that's why I can see my create AI icon. But even if you are in beta, you still may not see that icon because not everyone has this feature yet. I just got it this morning. And if you're not sure or not whether you've gotten new updates for design space, you can also check that out right here. You can go over to check for updates and then you can find out what's new and what they've changed in design space. Now, because this is a new feature and it's still in beta mode, Cricut says that this feature is still a work in progress. So you may still encounter some bugs and other things that don't work quite as expected. So if you get some glitches, don't worry. This is normal when they're trying out new features. So I've tested this out once this morning and I did encounter a few glitches, but we'll get to that in a minute. But for now, let's try this out. Now, right here, it just tells us to describe your dream image. And usually the image you want to generate would be something you can't find somewhere else. And then at the bottom here, there's a few examples. This first image has a roaring kitty cat face in pop art style. And then we have another one here that says a camper van driving through a desert. And then we have a bowl of fruit with funny faces and a llama doing tricks on a skateboard. So these are some samples. And just above here, you'll see it says 19 of 20 created AI monthly credits remaining. So I did generate one image just before starting to film this video, just to test it out before I showed you. And I'll show you that in a moment. So that's why I have 19 of my 20 credits remaining. So you get 20 credits a month and I believe on the first day of each month that will refresh. So if you used five images this month and so it only says you have 15 left and then on the first of the next month, then you'll have 20 again. I don't believe you can save your unused credits so you get 20 a month. Once you've reached your 20, that's it. That's what you have available to you. So let's try typing in something here. So my youngest daughter loves gymnastics and she loves bunnies. So let's type in girl bunny doing a cartwheel wearing a bow. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to press generate. Now it says images may take up to one minute to generate. So you'll have to use your patience a little bit while we wait for the images to pop up. All right. So we have two images here and we get to choose one of them. Now right below here now it changed from 19 of 20 to 18 of 20 just because I generated a new image. So we can choose one of these. I'm gonna grab this one. And now that's on my page. So the image is kind of cute. There's not a whole lot of detail. I wish there was a little more detail. So it's a rather simple image. And I'm wondering if over time, the images will become more detailed. Now Cricut does say they will be single layer black and white images. So you're not gonna get colored designs. But what you can do is edit the image you've inserted. So we have this image here and you can see in the layers panel it's grouped together. You can't click on ungroup. So let's press that arrow there and we've got another group. So click on that arrow 
And then let's click on that group there. So now we can go to the bottom and click on detach. So now each of these layers are separated. And if we click on group at the top now, now we're able to click on ungroup. So we have all these different layers here that make up our bunny, which overall is one layer. So if you wanted to just keep this bunny silhouette like this, you could select everything and then click attach at the bottom or we could edit it a little bit. Let's change the color of the bow here. So I think this is a bow piece and then this one and then this one. So I have the three bow pieces selected. I'm gonna go over to color. Let's make that purple. And now we have a cute purple bow. Now, before you cut this out, you probably would want all your pieces attached so they're not cutting out separately on your mat. So you would select the pieces that you want to cut out together and then click on attach. And the ears here are detached from the rest of the silhouette here. So we can attach those together, select those three shapes and then click attach. So now because I've added this image to my canvas, if I go over to saved, you can see my saved images here. So here's the image that we just generated. And here's the one that I generated just a few hours ago over here. So this one was some puppies. And I'm gonna pull up my screen that I recorded earlier of me generating these puppies. So actually, before I even created those dogs, the very first thing I typed into this AI generator was, happy cricket cuties jumping out of a cricket machine. But when I typed that out, it did not generate any images and here's the message I got. It said, your image description does not meet our content standards. No create AI credit use, please try again. So my first thought is it probably didn't generate an image because I'm using a brand name there, I'm using cricket. Uh, but I thought it might use it because I'm using the Cricut platform, but it did not give me an image for that. Now I know you can't use licensed images in creating AI designs. So you can't ask to use a Nike symbol or a Disney symbol or character, etc., because that would be considered copyright infringement. So Cricut asks you not to do that and it probably wouldn't generate an image if you tried to do anything with any type of name brand or licensed material. So the next thing I decided to try to type out was three cartoon dogs swimming in a pool wearing beach clothing. So I thought that was a pretty safe thing to write into the AI prompt. And again, I got the same message. So then I thought I must be asking it to do too much, there's too much detail. So I deleted wearing beach clothing and then it gave me these two images here. So I think I was just asking it to do too much detail. Maybe there are still a few glitches it's working through. But again, I found these images rather simple. There's actually a little more detail in these dogs than there were in the image that we just generated together. But still the designs are rather simple. So when the AI generator mentioned that my description did not meet the content standard, of course, I had to look up what is the content standard. So here is Cricut's content standard. So basically it goes through not using other people's intellectual property, not uploading parts of other people's images without permission. And then it goes through the normal stuff of not using graphic content or illegal activity or hate or harassment. You get the idea. So what I wrote into the AI prompt has nothing to do with any of this. So I'm just thinking it's because I gave the AI prompt too many words. There's too much description in what I was asking and that's why it did not generate an image for me. Because when I was looking at the content standard, it didn't seem to violate any of that. Now, typically I think you'd only use the AI generator if you weren't able to find a specific image. So before you go ahead and have AI generate an image for you and use one of your credits, you may wanna check what images are available first in Design Space. So let's go over to images and we're gonna go over to advanced search and let's see what happens when I type in dogs swimming. 
Okay, so there's a few pictures here. They're not quite in the water, but the images here that were created by actual designers and actual people have a lot more detail and they just look a lot nicer. Like this one's got the nice sunset, even the single layer images. And this one's super cute here with the surfboard and the wave. So you may find something you like better within Cricut images rather than using the AI. Another thing I forgot to mention is you do need to be a Cricut Access subscriber in order to have this feature. So this is not a free feature. This would be included in your subscription. But also a lot of the images on Design Space, most of those you do need a subscription for. Of course, there are some images that are completely free for you to use, but most of them do require the subscription. So now let's try Bunny doing gymnastics and see what comes up here. So we do have a few cute images here as well. I like this one. Again, these artist images on Design Space do seem to have more detail than the ones AI generated. I wouldn't say there's one explicitly doing gymnastics. There's ones that come close. So you could try some different AI prompts to see if you get something that you like better, or you could try to combine some images in design space and try to make your own design. So one of the questions I have about this AI feature is where AI is getting the ideas for these images from? Is it browsing the whole entire internet or is it just browsing images that are already on Cricut Design Space? Because usually how these AI images work is AI will take images from other creators and put them together to generate an image. And as we've seen, when we look at Cricut's content standard, it talks about not taking designs from other creators, bringing them into design space and making them your own. So I'm really not sure if that's a double standard or not, or maybe they are just using the images that were already in design space that were made by contributing artists. And I'm wondering if you're a Cricut contributing artist, how do you feel about this AI? Now, Cricut posted an article about two or three days ago about this new Cricut AI feature. And they say in there that they care about their creators and they believe this will actually help their creators. So what they're planning to do is, let's say a lot of people were typing in search of Bunny doing gymnastics. And then they would tell their creators, look, a lot of people are searching for this specific image. And then their creators can come up with images for what the general public is looking for and give their creators more ideas on what to create. So I'm not sure how I feel about the whole AI thing yet. AI is still such a new concept to me. And of course, I'm sure we've used AI in different ways before, whether we've asked Google a question and then AI gives us an answer right at the top there before we get our search results, or if you've typed anything into chat GPT before. And there's just so many other examples. So it's interesting to see how Cricut is entering the AI world. I'm not sure what their end game is and whether they will be incorporating AI into other functions within design space as well. It'll be interesting to see and watch. So I'm wondering what your thoughts are. I personally have mixed emotions. Right now, I feel like I'm not going to use it a whole lot just because I really like the other images that I find on Design Space and I find the images that it is generating very basic and there's not a whole lot of detail yet, but I'm sure that will evolve. Another part of me is conflicted because I'm thinking about the creators behind all the designs and images we use. Is this gonna help them or is it gonna have a negative impact? So I'm really curious to know what you think. Are you on board? Will you use this? Let me know in the comments and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.